let's find out who started dating in quarantine. I mean, how did you start dating in quarantine? Did you like virtually Tinder? Did you, like I don't get it. I guess you could FaceTime date all the time. That'd be very boring. <laughs> but let's find out. One couple that people have been talking about the most is Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt, mainly because we don't have a solid answer on if they are actually dating or not. In my head, I like to think that they are, Ooh, cause it'd be so cute. But what seemed to be like online flirting has people talking and hoping that they have decided to rekindle the flames all these years later. 14 years to be exact, literally half of my existence. They had split on October 2nd, 2005 after being married for only five years. In recent months, they have been spotted spending some time together, but we know that they always have remained friends even after their divorce. So are they still friends or are they dating now? We aren't 100% yet, but people loved seeing them in the virtual table read that they did together recently for the movie Fast Times. Several celebrities got together to do an online fundraiser live stream, but Brad and Jen completely stole the show and the flirting had people convinced that they were a couple again. Another couple that people are freaking out about is Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez, but this one has been confirmed. Everyone is always excited to learn about Ariana's love life, which she usually is not quiet about. But this time around, she was more secretive about it because her new relationship formed when the entire world was shut down. The only reason we actually found out about her new man was because they were featured in her music video. During the pandemic, she did a collaboration with Justin Bieber and released a song called Stuck With You, which was about being stuck inside with your loved one. In the music video, there is a very short clip of Ariana slow dancing with a guy, but we never actually saw his face. Of course, people on the internet went wild and tried to figure it out, but eventually Ariana confirmed it online through social media posts. She began posting cuddly photos and the world soon found out that her new man was a guy named Dalton Gomez. He is a successful luxury real estate agent and holds one of the largest Rolodexes of A-list buyers according to his business website. Apparently they started seeing each other in January, but became official a few months later. They quarantined together and rumor has it, they might be officially living together now. One celebrity relationship that started during COVID and went from zero to a hundred real quick was Demi Lovato and Max A. Rich. E. Rich. Max A. Rich. Max A. Rich. Max, just Max. I'm sorry, Demi, I don't know how to say his name. Not only did we find out they were dating during the pandemic, we also found out that they got engaged. On July 23rd, she shared the news on Instagram with a heartfelt caption and photos caught live when the engagement first happened. People only found out about the relationship not long before that, so it seemed to move very quickly. In December 2019, it was confirmed that she was single when she responded to fans asking if she was or not. Then around mid-March 2020, rumors started spreading that she was dating the actor Max, who stars on The Young and the Restless. They kept popping up on each other's social media pages and people were getting suspicious. It was confirmed on March 29th when Max was on a live stream and Demi walks into the video and then he tells her he's on live and she hides behind a blanket and runs off camera. That is when fans knew what was going on. It wasn't until May 8th that they officially confirmed the relationship after appearing in Ariana Grande's music video, Stuck With You. They were slow dancing too. It was real cute. Next up is Lady Gaga and Michael Polanski. Her fans were losing their minds when they found out that she started dating a tech entrepreneur during the pandemic. People first saw them getting cozy back in February, but it wasn't Instagram official until they started posting that they were quarantining together as a couple. He's not in the industry, which was surprising to fans. He's actually a Harvard grad and works with Facebook co-founder Sean Parker. So he's a pretty intelligent guy and successful to say the least. Gaga seems very happy and that's really what truly matters. The two of them were actually spotted together a while ago, but no one caught on. She was actually seen kissing him in Las Vegas on New Year's Eve. So maybe people just thought it was like a random drunk fun New Year's kiss, but it wasn't. Another couple that locked it down during the lockdown is Nina Dobrev and Sean White. The Vampire Diaries actress and the professional snowboarder sparked some dating rumors back in February after fans noticed that they were sharing similar photos online from a trip to South Africa. You cannot put anything past the fans, I swear, they will figure it out. 
One month later in March, paparazzi photos surfaced showing them biking together in Malibu. So at that point, people were just waiting for them to admit it. It wasn't until May that Nina posted a picture of them on Instagram. Although they haven't talked much about it, sources have come forward saying they've gotten really close during quarantine and they are very compatible and very happy. The most recent Hollywood quarantine couple is Tiffany Haddish and Common. The two of them met in 2019 when Common was cast as her love interest in the movie The Kitchen. But they didn't have their first date until April of this year. And because we were in a lockdown in April, their first date was actually a virtual one. He described their first date and said they ordered food virtually and talked and danced all night. He also sent her flowers beforehand and told her at the end of their night that he would love to see her again. The reason they are official isn't actually because of the movie they did, but because they matched with each other on Bumble. There you go, Chris. People are using Tinder and Skype. It wasn't until July that Tiffany confirmed the relationship on the Wild Ride podcast, and now the two of them cannot stop gushing about it in all their interviews. And last but not least, we have Ben Affleck and Anna de Armas. Just a few weeks ago, news articles started saying that they might be moving in together after she was spotted moving some stuff into his Los Angeles home. Some would say this was a quick move since earlier this year in February, he was single and talking about how he desired a healthy relationship. It wasn't until March when we first saw pictures of them together on a trip to Cuba. Over the next few months, the paparazzi was flooding the internet with PDA posts of them walking their dogs, kissing, being cozy during quarantine, and all the articles were calling them a couple. It wasn't until April 30th that they became Instagram official when she posted a picture of them on her 32nd birthday. Since then, they've been cute and cuddly in all their photos, and sources say that Anna seemed very happy to be moving some stuff into his house the day that the paparazzi caught the move in action. Starting off our list of couples is Tana Mojo and Mod Sun. Their relationship blossomed romantically during the pandemic, but we didn't get confirmation on this until after they broke up. For months, fans were convinced that the two of them were dating since they were always together and posting pictures together in quarantine, but they never confirmed it at the time. They were already friends for a while because they both dated Bella Thorne in a three-way open relationship. So you can imagine how sticky the situation would be when Tana started dating Mod Sun after Bella had broke up with both of them. Very confusing. They kept their relationship quiet throughout quarantine and said that they were just friends who were making music together and staying safe. But recently, Tana confirmed they had dated throughout this year, but split, and Modson went on to write a pretty harsh song about her called Karma. Another couple that got all cute and cuddly during quarantine is ASAP Rocky and Rihanna. The two of them decided to take their long-term friendship to the next level. No more friend zoning going on here. They have been dodging dating rumors since 2012. Fans have been wanting them to date for many years now. Turns out the pandemic actually brought them together. A source close to them said that they were always flirty with each other, but because they were spending so much time together during quarantine, feelings changed into more. The two of them don't try to hide their public hangouts, but they do keep details to themselves. Rihanna had split from her ex-boyfriend of three years back in January, so the timing of everything seems to have worked out this way for a reason. Although the two of them haven't openly talked about it yet during interviews, the source says that they are very excited to see how things go in the new year when the world hopefully returns back to normal. Moving on to another 2020 couple, we have Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. The internet freaked out when they got confirmation that these two were officially dating. The confirmation came after Megan had divorced her husband of 10 years, Brian Austin Green. Megan and Kelly met on the set of Midnight in Switchgrass, and after Megan split, the two of them got to know each other. They officially confirmed their relationship back in June when he tweeted out lyrics from his song Bloody Valentine. Since then, they have done interviews where they've opened up about the relationship, and Kelly admitted he used to wait at his trailer for her. While they were filming Midnight in the Switchgrass, he said he would sit on his trailer steps and wait for her to walk by every day just so that they could make eye contact. Cheesy or creepy, I'm not really sure. But now that they are together, Megan also admitted that she knew they were meant to be. She called them twin flames and explained, Instead of a soulmate, a twin flame is actually where a soul has ascended into high enough level that it can split into two different bodies at the same time. Sounds like witchcraft to me, but you guys are cute. Up next, we have Katie Holmes and Emilio Vitolo Jr. 
After Katie had a massively public marriage and split, she has found new love and seems to be totally smitten. The two of them were spotted out in New York City in September, but they have been together for a little while now. The only reason many people didn't know is because their public appearances were obviously limited during the pandemic. They never intended to keep the relationship a secret, and now that they are out and about, they are showing tons of PDA. A source close to them told ET that the pandemic was a big reason for why their relationship moved so quickly. Katie is obviously not working or traveling as much as usual, and things were slower at Emilio's restaurant, so they had the opportunity to really focus on each other. As of now, things are going really well, and Katie's daughter Suri loves spending time with him apparently. Coming into our next spot is Camila Mendez and Grayson Vaughn. There were months of speculation about them being a couple, but they made it Instagram official in September and fans totally freaked out. As fans would know, prior to this relationship, Camila dated her Riverdale co-star Charles Melton for a year, but they split up in December 2019. A few months after their breakup, she was spotted out with a new man, who turned out to be Grayson. Photos started surfacing of them in February 2020, but then the rumors just died out for a few months. It wasn't until May 2020 that the paparazzi caught photos of them showing some major PDA for the first time, which made people believe that they were more than friends. For the next few months, there were flirty photos of them leaked on the internet, but nothing was actually confirmed until September. Camila posted a photo of them kissing and captioned it, that long distance kind of love. The two of them seem to be going strong, although Camila often posts that she misses her man since the two of them are doing long distance. We are moving on to another pandemic couple and we have Jesse J and Channing Tatum. The two of them have been on and off in the past, but it was the pandemic that seemed to bring them back together, but then led them to being off again. They dated on and off from 2018 to 2020, and they seemed to come back together and started dating again during this pandemic. But in April, the two of them had broken up for a second time. At first, they seemed to start the year off very strong with their social media posts, and it seemed like the quarantine may have brought them closer together again after the first split. But a source told People Magazine that they tried to make it work, but realized it was just better to move on and said that the breakup was mutual. Fans did hold hope that maybe they would get back together again Again during this pandemic, but in October, Jessie started posting about her single life in the pandemic, so it is looking like they are going to remain apart. And finally, one more couple that came to service in the pandemic is Nicolas Cage and Rico Shibata. We're not totally sure when they officially began dating, but the world learned about the new couple back in March 2020. People were shocked to see photos of them because his new girlfriend looks significantly younger than him, and that's because she is. He is 56 years old and Rico is only 26 years old, which is actually younger than his oldest son, who is 29 years old. Their first public appearance together was actually in February, but no one knew who she was or if they were a couple. It wasn't until following months that the two were spotted together and it was confirmed that they were dating. Little is known about his girlfriend. The media only knows her age. They don't know much about her or if she works in the same industry or not. They've been in quarantine together and haven't had any public outings really, so it's unknown whether their feelings have changed for each other or not. So uh, we're gonna have to wait and see as things start to open back up. In at number 10, Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. Kourtney Kardashian and the Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker recently confirmed their relationship with some Instagram photos. Rumors swirled that the two were dating when they posted very similar Instagram photos from a Palm Springs getaway. But it was officially confirmed on February 16th when they posted matching Instagram photos holding hands. Kourtney's good friend Khadijah commented on the post saying, quote, when friends become lovers with a heart. This is because the couple had been friends for 15 years beforehand. After the pair announced their relationship, there was some drama with Courtney and Travis's ex-wife, Shanna Moaker. It started when Shanna shaded Courtney by liking a comment that called Courtney a downgrade from her. Courtney then subtweeted the situation by posting an Instagram story linking to an article about not cyber stalking your ex. But Shanna spoke about it a few days after where she said she just wanted Travis to be happy. So maybe it was all just a misunderstanding. In at number nine, Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde. This one was speculated for months before it was actually confirmed when footage leaked of the couple holding hands at a friend's wedding. News broke in November of 2021 that Olivia Wilde and Jason Sudeikis had broken off their engagement after seven years together. 
A source then told ET that Wilde is, quote, so happy in her new relationship with Harry Styles, and her relationship with Sudeikis is, quote, in a good place too. With the source adding, quote, Jason was initially really hurt about Harry and Olivia's relationship, but now that he's doing his own thing, things between him and Olivia have gotten better. They're rebuilding their friendship again and co-parenting together. And if you're wondering how the new couple met, they actually met on the set of a new movie that Olivia is directing, starring Harry Styles. And at number eight, Scott Disick and Amelia Hamlin. Scott Disick and Amelia Hamlin announced their relationship after months of rumors only a few days before Courtney and Travis Barker did. The Keeping Up star has reportedly been dating the 19-year-old model for four months. And he confirmed that by posting their first photo together on Valentine's Day, posting a story with them sitting together at dinner. Scott is 37 and Amelia is 19, which has caused some controversy online. Personally, I think the fact that he dated two women under the age of 20 years old back to back is a little strange, but that's just my opinion. The pair first sparked romance rumors at Kendall Jenner's birthday party in November, but it wasn't made official until Valentine's Day. And if you didn't already know, Amelia is actually the daughter of actor Harry Hamlin and Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Lisa Rinna. And I'm a big fan of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, so I personally cannot wait to see Rinna's reaction to it on this show. Because I'm confident it will definitely be in the next season. In at number 7, Vanessa Hudgens and Cole Tucker. Vanessa Hudgens and Cole Tucker made their relationship Instagram official on Valentine's Day, with the actress and the Major League Baseball star both sharing photos to their Instagram accounts. Vanessa captioned her photo quote, it's you, it's me, it's us, and then tagged him, along with a photo of them kissing. And then Cole said, quote, happy V-Day with a heart and tagged Vanessa. The couple have been rumored to be together since November, and apparently they've been inseparable since. In at number six, Kendall Jenner and Devin Booker. So we have yet another Kardashian relationship. But this one is pretty juicy because Kendall almost never posts who she's dating on her Instagram, and she's incredibly private about her personal life. So it was a shock to everyone when she posted a photo of herself and Devin Booker on Valentine's Day, confirming their relationship. In the picture, you can see Devin and Kendall cuddling with her adding a small heart. It seems like it was definitely a chill Valentine's Day for the duo. The basketball player later shared an Instagram story video of Jenner playing with a dog in the backyard, while also sharing a snap of them laying on the grass. And these posts came after almost a year of the two being linked together. It's rumored that they started dating in April 2020, after they were seen on a road trip from Los Angeles to Arizona, where he plays for the Phoenix Suns. Halfway at number five, Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey. Michael B. Jordan is officially off the market, and People Magazine's reigning sexiest man alive has made his relationship with model Lori Harvey Instagram official. They went public on January 10th of 2021. In his picture, they embraced among the holiday lights, and then in hers, we get a cute smile too. It was rumored that they were together around Thanksgiving of 2020, and from some pictures that were shared after, we know that they definitely spent the holidays together too. And if you didn't already know, Lori Harvey is the stepdaughter of comedian Steve Harvey, who adopted her in 2007 when he married her mother, fashion mogul Marjorie Bridges. And sources have said that the couple is moving fast, and apparently Steve Harvey actually approves. Which is good because I definitely would not get on his bad side. I feel like he's one person that boyfriends would be very afraid of. <laughs> and at number four, Megan Thee Stallion and Partisan Fontaine. Megan confirmed her relationship with the rapper on February 19th on Instagram Live, during which she defended Fontaine from negative comments that she had seen online about their relationship. She said in the live quote, I don't be liking some of the stuff on the internet. People don't know what the hell they're talking about. They just are saying anything. I didn't like what they were trying to say about parody because he is so calm and so sweet. She then added quote, that's my boo and I really like him. Then because she defended him, she was called a simp by some on the live stream. Megan then clapped back again saying quote, I never said hot girls can't have boyfriends. And personally, we just love to see it, especially after her relationship with Tory Lanez went so south. Because if you guys didn't already know, they were actually somewhat dating before the whole, you know, incident where she got shot. In at number three, Jojo Siwa and Kylie. Jojo Siwa did not only come out this year, but she also revealed that she had a girlfriend as well. After Jojo came out on TikTok and Instagram, she was invited on the Jimmy Fallon show, where she confirmed her new relationship in February of 2021. She said in the interview that her girlfriend is quote, the most amazing, wonderful, perfect, most beautiful girlfriend in the whole world. Then on February 8th, Siwa shared photos of herself with her girlfriend, who we now know is named Kylie. The caption wrote, quote, after being my best friend for over a year, January 8th of 2021, I got to start calling this exceptional human my girlfriend. 
And since then, I've been the happiest I've ever been. She seriously is the most loving, supportive, happiest, protective, and just the most beautiful, perfect person in the world. And I get to call her mine. Happy one month to my girl. I love you more and more every day. And that post is literally the cutest thing I have ever seen. And at number two, Aaron Rodgers and Shailene Woodley. So this news was crazy because we actually learned that the couple were engaged only days after we learned that they were even together. On February 3rd, reports came out that the couple were dating, but neither commented on it. Until days later on the 6th, when Rodgers stunned the football world with his engagement news during his MVP acceptance speech. Although he didn't name Shailene in the speech. Shailene confirmed all the news on an appearance with Jimmy Fallon on February 23rd saying that they have been engaged for quote, a while, according to Woodley. In at number one, Jesse J and Max Pham Nugent. Jesse J and Max Pham Nugent revealed that they were dating on March 1st of 2021, months after Jesse split from Channing Tatum in October of 2020. Max is a dancer slash choreographer. The couple decided to go public after they were spotted at a lunch together by the paparazzi. Then in order to get ahead of the news, she posted a set of 10 photos to her Instagram including a screenshot of the Daily Mail headline that exposed that the pair were out at lunch together. However, the article did not call them a couple. The caption on this post is absolutely hilarious, with her poking fun at how she looked like Lord Farquaad in the lunch photos. So she needed to post better ones on her Instagram to make up for it. And in the caption, she made clear to point out, quote, he isn't my male pal, which of course means that he's her boyfriend.